Hey everybody, welcome back. And by welcome back, I mean welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight, The Plague of Shadows. I am your host, Eli, of the Ferret on the Rocks channel. And this is my second time recording this because I forgot to turn my phone on silent. And it just went downhill from there. <laughs> no big deal. Let's start over again, and we'll just get right to it. Uh, last time I named Doc Plague and gave it a shot, but I exited out so nothing was saved. Let's begin, shall we? <clears throat> Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. But villainy ran rampant, and in time even the most stalwart heroes fell. In the absence of champions, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter swept into power. Unbeknownst to everyone, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. A draft so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Each night unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. Uh-oh, the boss is on his way. We've got to get back to the lab fast. I don't want to get experimented on. Just hold X and charge the bomb burst out of here. Come on, hurry up. Bombs away. <laughs> Welcome to Plague of Shadows. So, as you're probably aware at this point, me and Zack have decided to do something special for the Shovel Knight series by going through both of the game's stalwart campaigns at the same time. Boom, boom, boom. Aha. Now, originally I was going through this first level blind, but uh, my recording got a little uh, interrupted and uh, messed up, so I decided to start over, so excuse my lack of blindness on this first level. However, no big deal. The Plague Knight uh, mechanics are still a bit new to me, so you'll see me screw up plenty of times, I promise. However, uh, unlike the in the original campaign, uh, Plague Knight can hurl projectiles. He has health tonics, and uh, he also does. Uh, he also can do a double jump and a charge jump that he can do at the end of any of his jumps. Aha! Let's get me some of that money. And I died. In the first level. Right after the first checkpoint. <sighs> I can tell this is going to be a great let's play. Already. I can just feel it. In my bones. Ignore what just happened! Die, die, die! Die, die, die! Okay, he died. Uh. So, everyone's ignoring that, right? No one's, no one's gonna pay attention to uh, the colossal death mess up that they just witnessed. You won't tell nobody, will you? If it gets out that I'm terrible at video games, my mom won't let me play anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I live on my own. Uh, at least until I get married next year. Anyways. Let's see. Ah. So anyway, uh, Plague Knight's mechanics. He has a double jump and he, a charge jump that he can put at the end of any of his jumps or at the beginning of nothing. Ow. He has projectiles. As far as I can tell. 
Um, and he has those health tonics, which increases max health. But at the same time, uh, he can only carry five. And uh, that uh, oop, extra bit of uh, max health will go away if he dies. So it's not a permanent upgrade. Which is interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see how uh, it works in terms of uh, game balance. <laughs> and because of his uh, lack of physical weapon, his projectiles are a little hard to deal with, uh, in my experience at least so far. Not the best at aiming what I'm throwing, you know what I mean? But we will persevere through. And we'll get good, as I say. And, uh, carry on. Alrighty. What's cool about the explosions, though, is that they can do a little bit of splash damage. So, even enemies that are like, ah, ah, ah. No, no! Shite. I don't know how I made this jump the first time. This is gonna take some trying. Alright. Nope. I'm gonna lose all my money right here. That's... that's wonderful. Ah, dang it. Come on. See, I got this first try in the first recording, and now nobody will ever believe me. Ah, oh, come on. Dang it. Nah. I will defeat you, stupid jump. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Now I never have to do it again. Whew! Ugh. Just styling all over myself this entire first video, aren't I? Well, carry on, I always say. Even when things aren't looking the greatest, keep going. Unless, of course, the recording gets messed up, in which case, uh, fix it. Freedom! Out of the cannon! Ah, boink. At least the skelly bums are easy to take care of. Alrighty, up, up, and treasure chest. Give me all that loot. Don't miss any. Anyway, as I was saying, fun times all about. Whew. Even when you mess up, as long as you're having fun, that's the important thing, right? I'm not crazy, right? You can tell me. I can take it. No! 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 Dang it. Okay. No big deal. Right there. At least I don't have to drive... Uh, walk all the way back. Drive all the way back. Uh, I just imagined a very funny scenario. Okay. Got it. There we go. Alrighty. Ow. Uh. Uh. Okay. I guess I'm not fighting him. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is not going nearly as smoothly as the first run through. Oh well. Let's see. 
continue on my wayward son, I guess. Killing slimes. Which I still don't know how they're actually supposed to hurt me. I mean, I guess touching... Like, if they were made out of acid, I could understand them jumping on me, hurting me. But they're like little blobby things. I don't understand how the pain gets induced. And I died again. <sighs> Note to self, don't jump. Don't jump through those things. Don't jump through the screen transitions. Remember that, kids. If you ever want to go to the next screen, never jump through the transitions. And killed him. Actually got his money this time, so... I can already tell this is going to be a great let's play, just right off the bat. This first tutorial level I'm doing just wonderful in. Gonna have all the money to upgrade myself with after everything's over. Didn't lose a single thing. Just 100% perfect run. Yep, that's me. Man who does nothing but perfect runs. Always. Forever. That's the Plague Knight. He doesn't fail at anything. Never, ever. Never, never, ever. Vengeance. Eh. Okay. Oh wait, I just learned this lesson! Fuck! Okay. Okay! Ha! See, I can do it! I just have to believe in myself and not suck! No one saw all those mess-ups. I'll use Mr. Snip Snip to edit it out. Wait, I don't own Mr. Sip Sip. He's the intellectual property of somebody else. Oh, everyone's gonna see it now, aren't they? Because I can't use... Oh. Oh, that's sad. Okay, good. Another health tonic, so... We can just fix that one up. And... Uh, nope, that's not explodable. Alright, first boss. The Black Knight. Listen to me, Magicist. I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion. Ultimate? What? I haven't seen him since he fled to join the Order of No Quarter. Ah, alchemical trickery. You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? What are you insinuating? Ooh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. It's w Is winning the Magicist's heart worth betraying your allies? <laughs> What? Where in the world did you hear that? <laughs> and I know how you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the order, but none threaten the enchantress and live. Uh, sure thing, Plague Knight. Still don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, I didn't think he got that projectile attack until later. It is a bit harder to fight without a physical melee weapon. Just gotta keep up the pressure. Take that, Black Knight. 
You can't handle these bombs. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got in store for us. Yep. First thing defeated, get to see the first area. Village! Halt! No weapons allowed. Wait a minute! Let's just pretend I don't recognize you and you go safely on your merry way. This doesn't have to get messy. And don't show your creepy bird face around here again, you freak. Douche. Maybe you didn't hear me through that mask. We already had this conversation, pal. You're not supposed to be here. Now get lost before I lose my patience. I guess town doesn't like me. Oh. Hey, Blake Knight, I'm still guarding your secret entrance, but I lost the key. The locksmith should be here in a week or two. Maybe you could wait until then. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's what I think about waiting on the locksmith. Well, I guess I'm canceling the locksmith appointment. <sighs> This was the house I grew up in. Get over it, loser. That's what you get for losing your key. Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, and yeah, always find secrets. That's what I like to say, anyways. Wait, was that Shovel Knight? Yes, it was. How interesting. Hey, it's you! <laughs> Mona, we have a big uh, problem on our hands. We've been found out. Oh, the Black Knight thing? Yeah, Magistus filled me in. Don't worry, you beak. That fool has nothing on us. Look, all we need to worry about are the, is those final ingredients. We're stuck languishing here in obscurity until then. Yes. <laughs> the essence is I shall pay our friends a little visit and uh, <laughs> borrow them. Right, and while you're doing that, I'll keep researching ways to get more bang for our buck. Know what they say, the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist. Yes. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, secret lever. Whoa. Secret elevator. Dizzy elevator. Whoa. <laughs> These lifts never cease to both amuse and nauseate. Oh. Truly a dizzying display of technology. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the Potionarium. So, what are we working on? Uh... Shop? Arcs into the air before it comes crashing down. Oh! Uh... Produces wall climbing flames? Blows up a long time after throwing? Float slowly to the ground, then press blank to fall again. What? <laughs> Cascade powder produces waves of fire in both directions. Uh, I'm just gonna get this for now, see what that does. And uh, what else do you got? Research! I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cipher coins for materials. Like, I can't build the stuff on a shoestring budget, so until you have those coins, we're kind of stuck. Okay, I only have 31 of those coins. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so... Okay, I'm getting it. Yeah! Okay, that's cool. So you can change how he attacks. That's really neat. What do you got to say? I just learned that my bomb burst hurts nearby enemies. Now I can fearlessly blast through anything. <laughs> I picked up your special delivery. Want to take a look and settle the bill? Toss into a sparkling pit and see what flies up. You bet. Oh, hello, Plague Knight. Black Knight tried to interrogate me, but I think I threw him off of the trail. Whether it's business or personal, don't worry. Your secrets are safe with me, Plague Knight. Anyway, yeah, uh, of course. Uh, you'd like potions, wouldn't you? Okay, so I can just... Oh, okay, so I can juice myself here. Ah, Plague Knight, my good friend, a moment of your time. <sighs> How can I help you, Percy? 
I've run out of paper, and I can't fit any more ballistic formulae on my hoof. I'm in desperate need. <laughs> Do you need glue as well? I know how we can make some. <laughs> Oh, why, thank you, but just the paper will do. And by the way, you're looking a bit forlorn lately. Maybe I should repay your kindness with some love advice. Love advice? Oh, I've got three sheets of paper. There's a, what is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation scribbled all over it, on both sides. There's nowhere for me to write. Useless. Into the trash bin it goes. <laughs> Was he talking? Oh, I must have blanked out. Okay, Wulong want to help, can help, can make musics, but got tired, fell asleep, went awake, forgot almost all music, so sad. Okay, so he's the guy who, he's the guy who plays the music. Cool. Okay, and that's an exit. Alrighty, uh, I still have three grand. So, okay, it brings me back immediately. Alright, so I can't do that, but let's see what else I can get. Blows up after a long time after throwing. Sl float slowly to the ground and press blank to fall down again. Okay. I guess that's for my burst. Uh, produces waves of fire in both directions. Produces wall climbing flames. I'm gonna get this. And then I will put that here. And stop doing that. Yeah! Okay, so I can only throw one at a time with that. No big deal. Well, I think that's a good place in, as any to uh, finish off before I head off to Pride More Keep, the Lair of the King Knight. Until then, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Shovel Knight, the Plague of Shadows, or as I'm calling it on the channel, the Path of the Flask. Until next time, goodbye.